I'm a passenger. He went inside. It's on my car, man. Said that the chief asked him to go pull me over and bring me back to the station. Does he maybe want to set up a race or something? No, I doubt is that what this is about? No. Okay, well, does he have it on radar, or does how does he know? Radar? I would think so. No, you don't need a radar when you pass law enforcement. Your car was going pretty fast into our town and even through our town. Through here? Yeah, that's, that's what he said. Yeah. I don't think so. About? <laughs> no, not, not likely. <laughs> He's not wanting to set up a race with a Lambo and Gore because well, maybe I'm, that's what it is. <laughs> that would be so retarded. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we can just get in a private parking lot and do donuts around the police cars. Maybe that's what he wants to do. Lambro Steve, you're watching Lambros. We are in Miami, Florida. We're actually in somewhere in the Keys. We're going to Key Largo, I think. But we just showed up at this gas station. Oh my God. Anyway, I have a lot of drama with police. Apparently it's the police's job in Florida to come direct traffic at a gas station, so. It's on my car, man. Uh, I already filmed it, but this is gonna edit in and uh, just get ready for the drama. Do you have insurance? Yeah. If it don't come back on the tag, yeah. and you have no way to prove it, I'll have to tell the vehicle. You have to tell it for not having insurance? Isn't it a ticket? Okay, we just met our first police. Uh, we're somewhere on our way to Key Largo, and they're telling us we have to fill up and go. Fill up and go. They're like, you gotta go. You gotta go. What's going on? I don't know. You, I've just never been directed to get gas by a police officer. I was just trying to figure out. Is there some trouble? I guess the police are now directing, telling you how to go get gas. He got, he got pissed and walked in. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but they got two state troopers here and they're literally telling us how to back up and where to go, when to go, where to back up, what we have to do. Appreciate it. Like I said, we got reports of reckless driver, you know, is. I understand. Sure. Can I get out? Can I get out? Nope. You mind if I step out? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, he just like I said when we got to uh you know, cars mess with me all the time it's a Yeah. Thing, so he got there and I looked at my rear view and just saw him sliding around the corner. I was like, oh great. So I just kinda when got on my butt, I just kinda cooked it and got out of there. But, yeah. Yeah, this Definitely. thing sticking out like that. Oh, sure. Sure. I mean, it doesn't matter what. Way. If I, I always get reported whether I'm speeding or not, but uh, uh, I appreciate you stopping yeah, me. I mean, uh, I would have All right, good cop. Cool cop. I don't know what's going to happen, but he's literally like waving us all over. It's Arkansas State Police. Yes, sir. There's a black Corvette in this one too past you. Why do you got to drive like that? What are you talking about? Don't, don't say what are you talking about. You passing cars left and right. I passed in the uh, passing zone. You passed that law enforcement officer right there at over 100 miles an hour. How many cars did you pass another 20 miles up the road? I passed in passing zone. You sit here and film me? I don't. I just film. That? No, I always film the police. Won't you freaking grow up? Quit driving like an idiot. I, oh Give yes, sir. Give your driver's license, insurance, and registration. I gave you my driver's license. Insurance and registration. Okay. Guys, there's other people on the road out here has to drive safe too. I didn't do anything. I passed in a oh, passing zone. Do anything. Okay. I passed in a passing zone, and I would love to see who got me. Five miles an hour. What's that? Did you do it? At I was doing the speed limit. Oh, so you did it at 55 miles an hour. You passed this law enforcement officer at 55 miles an hour. I don't, I, I don't, I didn't see a law enforcement officer back there. Did he get me on radar or what did he get me on? You just passed that law enforcement officer at over 55 miles an hour right now. 
Okay, well, does he have it on radar, or does how does he know? Radar? I would think so. No, you don't need a radar when you pass law enforcement. Okay, well, uh, understandable. I don't know why you're getting all crappy with me. I haven't done anything except I have a because camera out. I have to deal with people like y'all driving like idiots. Okay. About. <laughs> no, not, not likely. <laughs> He's not wanting to set up a race with the Lambo and Gore because well, maybe I'm, that's what it I'm is. Just think that'd be so <laughs> Maybe we can just get in a private parking lot and do donuts around the police cars. Maybe that's what he wants to do. Did he just have somebody call in or something? Well, what happened is he had someone call in. He just wants you to come in and talk to him. But, um, he's actually with an inmate right now, so okay. he can't leave and come back okay. and talk to you. He said, Where's I it at? Uh, just turn around and head okay. that direction. I'll, I'll come down there. You guys, go up and go. Okay? Why are you, I don't understand what's going on. Why are you jumping everybody's ass? We just came here to get gas. So what's the problem? You guys are obstructing the fuel pump. You're obstructing the freaking blocking over there. Your two cars are. We couldn't even get through there. No, but it's okay for you to throw your lights on and do it, but we can't come get gas. We're getting complaints on you guys. We just got here. So you can't get a complaint. We just pulled in. Well, we'll do what we can do because this is America. So we'll do whatever the hell we want to do. Thank you. Freaking kidding me. Like you're going to tell people they have to get gas and go. We'll leave when we're ready to leave. to get gas and leave. And we're in a public place last I checked. My chief contacted me earlier. Apparently your car was going pretty fast into our town and even through our town. Through here? Yeah, that's, that's what he said. Yeah. I don't think so. Ooh, well, my chief's the one that told me, so I'm Well, just, I mean, there's, I didn't, nobody stopped me. Well, I no, get, because we, we had an issue with the guy pulling the gun and the other guy. Oh, okay. So that's why, you know, yeah. You know, well, that kind of trumps, you know, a speeding car. It's, it's loud. Yeah. So often when I when I drive, it'll it'll get reports. So. Yeah. Anyway, I would have come there and talked to you, but... I understand, and that's why I was talking to Officer Ellis, and I said... Slow it down. If, if you are driving that fast, we could slow down just a little bit. I will I'd definitely be very careful coming through here. Well, your I mean, town. you can drive normal. I was. I was watching my speed through the town. Well, see, the plan I had is like, you're going 100 miles an hour. No. When I went over the bridge into Weber's Falls, uh -huh. I didn't realize where I was going. I turned around, and there was a van right before I went over the bridge that was going slow. I punched it, went around them. Okay. No, no, that was about I've it. Never heard one of these before. And just now, when you're right here, it sounds like you're going faster. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah, if I, I'm I going 80 or I'm going, that. you know, okay. 100, it'll sound about the same or, or 50. So, right, yeah. Well, but hey, we will. We've got some friends that live right up the road. Uh -huh. and we don't want to cause any trouble. So, Good. we're just uh, beautiful car, man. Thank you. You want to check it out? Uh, man, feel free, man. If you yeah. want to look at it, I mean, that's absolutely I did, beautiful. Yeah, thanks. It's a, it's a really fun car. Wow. And it does get a lot of attention. I didn't get green because I was trying to hide or anything. So <laughs> I meet a lot of police officers, so we don't, we don't mind. We're telling you that if you're getting gas, yes, but we just need well, to Well, I have a guy in there taking a giant dump. Okay. So can I wait on him? Parking spot. Yeah, okay. You can wait all day for him to take a dump. Okay, good. I will. Well, you guys are very aggressive and you're parked in a no parking. So go right ahead. Okay, we'll probably be gone by the time the tow truck gets here. So, appreciate you. Don't drive like an idiot and nobody calls in. Okay. I'm not trying to. Care. I'm not trying to That's fight with you. Once or, in a while. I don't care. Yeah. That, that don't bother me at all. And I'm not trying to be a, a jerk. I'm but just when saying. People, when people call in for the last 30 miles on how y'all are driving, that brings attention to yourself. I understand. I was at the back, and then when we had a passing zone, I went. I went up. So I definitely did that. Can I get out and get in my glove box? Sure, because sure. okay. Thank you. We're just driving to meet some friends, and that's it. So I'll find my. Let's just say you wasn't doing anything 20 or 30 miles ago. I don't have a problem with that. But let's just say this law enforcement officer just called me and you and the Corvette passed him like he was sitting still at over 100 miles an hour. Well, was he sitting still? Like he was sitting still. Well, I didn't see a police officer. We didn't Did you see him. that pickup truck? You probably don't notice a pickup truck as a law uh -huh. enforcement. Okay. I'm Steve Curry. Pleasure to meet you. Have a seat in the car. Yeah, we're not trying to be, not trying to cause any trouble. I have my insurance on my phone. 
Okay. So I'll try to find it real quick. Thank you, sir. This is the fun. Apparently, you're not allowed to come get gas in a group in Florida because they will harass you. It is against the law to acquire gasoline in Florida, apparently. Right. If you need gasoline and your friend has to take a dump, you need to go faster. That's the deal. So, they said that we're not in a, a place, we're in a correct parking spot, so we need to leave. So it's two two female cops that are trying to run run things for us. So anyway, that's all the drama I got for today, guys. So I don't know. Maybe we should go do a First Amendment audit on them and uh, get their name and badge over. I don't know what we should do here. But thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, turn on notifications, and always respect the police. But that doesn't mean the police get to do whatever they want to do and tell you what you can do, tell you that you're on private property when you're, in fact, in the public right away. By the way, I'm a taxpaying citizen. So this is private. I don't think so.